Begin the second course by starting at the corners again. To offset the joints, put left-hand corner blocks on top of the first course's right-hand corner blocks and right-hand corners on top of the first course's left-hand corners. Again, bring the two sides together at a door buck or under a window. If there are no openings, work toward the center, just like on the first course. Before measuring for the cut, zip tie or wire the top connectors of each corner block to the straight block next to it. Unlike the first course, there is no need to hold all the blocks together with zip ties or wire. The second course is held tight by locking into the first. That's part of EcoBlock's design. Cut the final block and fit it in place. Make sure that the vertical joint is offset at least 4 to 8 inches from the joint on the course below. At this point, you can see the course-to-course -course pattern. Except for special cuts required for wall openings, the first course is the model for the third, fifth, and so on. The second course is the model for the fourth, sixth, and so on. By reversing the corner blocks on each course, most vertical joints are automatically staggered 16 inches. The second course is also an excellent time to check the level of the walls. Level is checked by either shooting it with a laser or using a bubble level and pulling a string tight from corner to corner. If there is a high spot along a wall, while someone presses down with moderate pressure, carve out a bit of the bottom of the first course block to make up for the high spot in the footer or slab. If there's a dip in the form, build it up with shims from scrap eco block. Once you're satisfied with the level of the forms, set the second course rebar if the engineering plan calls for it. Note how the rebar is staggered front to back down successive courses in a finished form. This keeps the vertical rebar near the center of the concrete cavity.